Cause it's sad, baby. Who's crying? Who's he's not? Who's fighting for who? And who's dying? Was he for little or what? Yeah. Now we're live. It's just that three minute delay thing. Oh, is that what the word delay means? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's supposed to be a three minute difference. That way you can't use the streams to scout your opponent. So what is it is the delay just like seem longer than three minutes? Like you guys seem like you were waiting for like ten and it finally started coming up. Well no. See I, it didn't I just come up now push it yeah, it didn't come up at all. I just now push it to our regular stream with no delay. And yeah. then, um, before, before I was trying to push it to the three minute delay, and, uh, um, you know, so I, I did it at exactly, at exactly 30 minutes till the event, and right. it was five minutes later and nothing was coming up in the past, you know, for the past ten minutes there was nothing coming up, so. Hmm. Yeah. You want to try a one minute delay? See if I that works? I can't change it. No? Nope. It is, it does, it's you... not dynamically changeable yet. Oh, okay. You guys know uh, any of the admins at uh, Own TV? Um, not at Own, but I know the main admin at um, SC Streams. Cause I know. Well, you're trying to do the delay through Owned or? Or through SC no. Streams. No, through. SC. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, never mind then. That's I know where the event's going through. All right, cause I know Owned uh, has their own delay, so maybe you could try the own delay instead of the uh, SC Streams delay. Delay. See, the only thing, is, yeah, I don't know, maybe, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll just go without a delay, I'm just gonna let uh, the admin for uh, SC Streams know about it. Okay. But, and the thing uh, is, if, if it's like a requirement to have a delay for the cast, then, you know, I could talk to Oleg on Owned and he can probably hook you up with one. The, okay, the only problem is SC Streams is sponsoring the event. Well, you'd use them anyway. Right. You just have the delay through owned instead of SC uh, Streams. We pull the right. we pull instead of push to, from owned. Yeah, to yeah. Right. Oh, okay, cool. Because right now we push to owned. You know. Right. So, um, right. but anyways, I'll, I'll, I sent the message to Enrico. If he says anything, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and change that up. But right now, uh, you know, guys, everybody, welcome to Impa TV, where everything is in balance. We've got 15 minutes left until this. Uh, until this tournament gets started, and this is going to be the King of the Month Craft Cup SC Streams event. It's going to be sweet. And uh, before we get into anything else, let me go ahead and uh, and play a little video here from uh, that Jim made about the event here. <laughs> the event itself so we get into it. it looks like uh looks like Enrico's gonna go ahead and change it back to a minute and we're gonna give that delay a try so we're not in the clear yet well hopefully that one will work indeed in any event, everybody seems to be taking Naniwa to win this thing. Big T, uh, you're a Protoss player and a veteran of many Protoss mirrors uh, on the U.S. Craft Cup. What do you think? 
Um, well, you're going to have to go ahead and refresh my memory of all the players because yesterday I only got the video for Naniwa, so he's the only one I I know for sure who's playing in the event today. Oh, okay, no problem. So we got Naniwa Insolence or Razor Inso, um, Straylock, and Rocks Kiss Palmy. And Naniwa will be playing Rocks Kiss Palmy in our Protoss Mirror in round one. Oh, that's tough. Naniwa is going to be a good pick for this event. Um, but however, I, you know, have been following some of the recent results here and Insolence has actually, uh, won quite a few tournaments recently. So he's been performing very well as of late, especially in P vs. P. A couple of the tournaments he played in were actually P vs. P mirrors, I believe. One, he did actually defeat, hmm, I don't think it was Nani. I know he beat, I believe Mana in one of them, who was a very good Protoss player. So, Nani was a good pick, but Insolent, also look out for him. Okay. And uh, what do you think, uh, what can these guys do to ground Straylock's dropships? Nothing? Or what do you think? I mean, Straylock is a really good Terran player, first of all. And, and the he toughest on... thing about... Uh, the toughest thing about Terran is trying to stop the drops. The best thing you can do is, in my opinion, you just always have to prepare for them. So you just scout, put an observer at the front. If he's not moving out, then just assume he's dropping. Put units in the back of your base just in case he is. Um, so I think the best way to stop it is actually just preparation. It's, and it's everybody should be okay if they do that. It's too hard to chase the drops to try to chase them around and catch them, isn't it? I mean, they can come from any angle. Yeah, that's right. You really just have to. I mean, in my experience, I know I'm not the best Protoss player by any means, but I've been having pretty good success against stopping drops recently, and it's just by having units. You don't need your units everywhere. You just need them by your mineral line where you're most most uh, where you're going to take the most amount of damage. Right. So as, as, as long as you can protect your mineral lines from drops, then you're going to be just fine. Got it. I, I, I've noticed in Nanny, in Nanny's games against Terran that he really doesn't invest a lot in chasing drop, drop ship, ships around. So we'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't really, he uh, doesn't work in that way. There are other players that like to put phoenixes on patrol move and all this kind of stuff, and he doesn't. He doesn't do that at all. He's either on the offense or on the defense, not like ha never halfway. Exactly, and I think that's the best way to play. So I think he's, I think he's playing against those drops perfectly, in my opinion. Right. Cool. And I think we're going to be restarting shortly. Yeah, I'm Stream. just waiting for the okay. It may uh, not. Are, it may not actually need to fully re or fully reset. Let me. I'm gonna try something here, but um, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, well, I'll start it with that one. Cool. Uh, just check and see if you've received it, that's all. Yeah, I, I see it right here now. Okay, cool. No the problem. other one's KOTM2, and this one, or er, KOTM, and then this one's King of the Month 2. Yeah. So, yeah, I gotcha. Cool. So, we're going to not be able to not restart, but still get the one minute delay? Possibly. I'm gonna okay. I'm going to give it a shot. All right, and thanks, Big T, for uh, showing up and help us helping us fill out the pregame show. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> or my lack, pleasure. Or I um, lack just didn't know what anyway. time I was leaving. I am going out with my mom later this morning. Not ashamed of that. So didn't know what time we we're leaving, but That's I cool, am going to be around for a little bit longer. So, well, cool. Um, and you guys uh, should be. Uh, well, actually, never mind. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, keep it going with uh, the current stream. No delay or anything. 
But anyways, um, hey, Big T, I gotta. Uh, can I talk to Big T about Protoss a bit? Or yeah, go ahead, man. Um, that's okay, fine. just if there's nothing important. Okay, um, I was gonna ask you about four gate uh, defending a four gate with three gate Robo. Yeah. What What if you build a lot of sentries and keep force fielding your ramp? Yep, that's that's absolutely what you want to try to do. Um, and a lot of players really like hate four gates like me, so I'll try to do pretty much anything to not four gate. And the the, the toughest thing recently, if if they're not aggressive and they don't build pylons directly in your base, then you can hold it off with sentries, get your robotics facility up, and then get immortals out. But right. you do have to cut probes. Really? To do the build anyway. So Dude, you're oh. not going to get ahead economically, but you'll definitely get ahead in the tech if you do that. Right. Wow. You have to cut probes. Well, that sucks, balls. <laughs> yes. You still, yeah. Even, yeah. Even though you're getting sentries out, you still have to cut probes. It's a little ridiculous. Four gate is just very strong. Right. Right. Wow. Okay. And, uh, is it true in Protoss Mirrors, uh, Expanding is a really long process. You have to have a really huge advantage before deciding to expand. Would you say that, or mm, is that that's a bit of a tricky? Thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really tough to tell when to expand. You can either wait for a while, or you can try to just catch your opponent off guard. Like I know a lot of people will actually try to expand really, really early because they know they're not going to be able to later. Right. And so you might see that as well. Like, I was talking to you last night, and you know how I said, well, once the stalker comes out, the Protoss is playing completely in the dark, right? Right, yep. So a lot of players will only throw down one gas, make it look like they're four gating, and then go ahead and expand right away. Ah, uh, okay. Knowing so their opponent's in the dark. Try to do that as well. Right, and knowing their opponent's in the dark. Exactly. So, so, like you know, it's like they're playing Texas Hold'em poker, but it's, yeah. it's StarCraft instead. Cool. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, I have a question for you guys. Um, since I'm such a noob and don't pay attention to anything, so how did these players actually get to the King of the Month tournament? <laughs> well, the uh, the players actually got here from the every Friday Craft Cup. You know, that's the big Craft Cup of the week. The like Craft Cup um, yeah. main event, if you will. Yeah, the main event. And uh, anyway, so the winner of that Craft Cup got invited for this, uh, you know, for this event. So oh, okay. these are That's... four winners from the four weeks of January. Sweet, good. That's right. And uh, you know what? Before uh, we d we got three minutes left, let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and share with you guys a little bit about each one of these players here. We'll start off with the first one on the list, Razor's Enzo. Enzo Lunds, also known as Razor Enzo, lives in Berlin, Germany, plays as Protoss, and is very well known for his early two-gate aggression and Phoenix harassment. Winner of Craft Cup 28, Enzo is ranked 49th in the world and ranked 26th in the region with over 1,500 game wins. All right, and let's move on to Straylock, his opponent. Straylock is Eugene Operishev, a Ukrainian piloting the Terran, playing for Mouse Sports. He is a six-year veteran of esports competitions at their highest levels, starting with third place or better finishes at WCG Ukraine 2005, 6, 7, and 8. Playing StarCraft II, Straylock combined for more than 10 tournament wins in these open events. Zotac, go for SE2, and Craft Cup. His game against Protoss emphasizes medevacs and upgraded infantry for a quick strike style offense while using tanks primarily as support and defense units. Alright, and uh, let's go ahead and see about the next two Naniwa versus Rocks Kiss Palmy. Here's a little bit about Naniwa. Our Swedish representative for the first SC Streams King of the Month is Naniwa with a seemingly aggressive.